Welcome to the Dante Dudley Show. As you can see, I'm Dante Dudley, uh, number 12 of the Wyoming Cavalry. All right, we're going to take this to the slow-mo right now. Uh, we're with BJ Charlton, number 11 of the Wyoming Cavalry. BJ, tell us what happened on that drop. Uh, basically, we had our favorite play called out of two, two by one, and I got too relaxed, and I just dropped the ball. It happened. Explain to me when you got back to the huddle why I could not get a high five. You know, it felt like a little frustrated with myself, you know. You, you always want to make the best plays, even if the wide open ones. But I was trying to support you and build you up, and you just kicked me down. Explain yourself. And you just going to cut me off from the first time? But, you know, I was a little frustrated with myself. It's my show. Four, but after the, the other four, you know, I got over it. BJ, tell us about your game, besides the drop. You know, I had like four touchdowns, you know. One drop. Yards. I don't think I had 200 yards. If I did that, that might be a Calvary record. BJ, explain your relationship with number 12 over the last couple of years. Ooh, number 12. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can't say what I want to say because we got kids watching us as he puts the mic in my face. But over some time, I think we like best friends. We work really hard to push each other. And uh, he can pretty much say whatever he want. I can say whatever I want to him. And we just kind of take it with a grain of salt just to get better for our team. Uh, thank you, BJ Charlton. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you uh, next week. Uh, the catch uh, 11 on uh, Twitter.com. Maybe follow me. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Mm -mm. He trying to get publicity on my show. This is Mike Layton, principal owner of the Wyoming Calvary, correct? Correct. Okay. Managing partner. Managing partner. Mike, tell us what drives you to put on a show for the fans of Cat. To put on a show for the well, well, it's, it's a big production. It's, I mean, besides the game, you know, you got throw giveaways. You got get sponsors. You got to do a whole lot of stuff. What drives you guys to be so successful in Casper? Well, we're successful because of gentlemen like you. That's, cool. That's true. Why do we put on a production? Because we're not for sure that you guys are going to always put on a show. So we got to make sure we're ready to go. We're like, you know, plan B. Okay. okay. Plan A works. Plan B works even that much better. What do you think of the score today? What was it? 85-84-15. This is what my dad would always tell me. Why did you let him score 15 points? You hear that defense? Owner's calling you out. Why didn't you score 100 points? Offense. You hear that offense? Dante came out. Y'all couldn't put up 100. How many, no. How many what, points? Defense. Cut. No. <laughs> Zero. Zero? Yeah. You know, I just I just played my part. They were double teaming me all night. You're a team player. Yeah, you know, I just do what I got to do. I'm doing decoy stuff, you know, just running people off, throwing, well, throwing shirts into the stands. If they're watching film, they know that to keep on Dante, double D. That's true, that's true. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show, Mike. Put an arm and a leg to get you on here, but thank you very much. Wyoming Calvary played the Ogden Knights tonight. Pounded on them 84-15. to 15. I don't think they'll be showing up to Casper, Wyoming again. Check out these highlights from the game. Make sure to watch the Dante Dudley Show next week. We play the Yakima Valley Warriors May 8th. See you soon.